Okay, so let's start by installing the maps layout. We can do that by hovering over Gravity Kit and clicking on Products and Licenses. So this page will give us an overview of all of our active licenses as well as all the Gravity Kit products that we have access to. So we can go to the Not Installed tab. And here we can see the maps premium view. And to install it, all, all we need to do is click Install Now. Okay, great. So after installing, the plugin should activate immediately. So let's see. Okay, there we go. So the Maps Premium View is installed and activated. Okay, so now we can create a new view using the Gravity View Maps layout. To do that, we'll hover over Views and click New View. And we'll give our view a name and choose a data source. And for the view type, we'll select the map view. Okay, so it's important to note that although I selected the maps layout here in this video, you can actually add a map to any layout type in Gravity View. This includes the table layout, list layout, data tables, and even the DIY layout. All you need to do is add the Gravity View Maps widget to your view layout. Okay, so now you can see the view editor loads and we can add fields and widgets to our view as we would um, with any Gravity View layout. So let's go ahead and add some fields here. Start with the image, the listing title, and the details. And as you can see, there's also space here to add something in the middle row and the footer if you would like to. Okay, so when you finish adding your fields, go ahead and scroll down to the settings meta box here, and you'll see this new maps option here on the left. So if we click that, here is where all the settings are for the maps layout. So the first thing is to select your address field. Uh, Gravity View should pick this up automatically. If your form has multiple address fields here, you can select multiple. Uh, the next thing you can do is customize the pin icon. So if you click select icon, you can see there's quite a few different options that you can choose from. You can also add a custom icon here if you want to. All right, so next is the map position. If you wanna put the map at the top of your view, to the right, at the bottom of your view on the left. All right, and then the pinned map. So by enabling this, you can keep your map fixed during scroll. The map type allows you to choose here between a street view, a satellite view, a hybrid view, or a terrain view. And here is the info box uh, settings. So if you would like a little box to appear when you click on a marker on the map, showing additional information about that entry, then you can enable this info boxes option here. And as you can see here is where you would put in the information that appears. And here you can use uh, Gravity Forms merge tags as well to pull in information for each entry. Okay, map layers, if you want to put information about traffic, transit, or a bicycle, you can pull that information in here just by selecting the option. Finally, you can select the zoom level uh, over here, and there's a few other options that you can configure down here. And then when we get to the bottom, we've got custom map styles. So here in this box, you can actually put your own CSS to customize the look and feel of the map. And the last option is marker clustering. By enabling this, um, essentially what that will do is if you have markers that are very close to each other on a map, at a certain zoom level, they will show up as one single cluster. And then when you zoom in further, you'll actually see those individual markers. Okay, so when you're finished, Configuring your map settings, go ahead and update the view. 
And now you can check it out on the front end. Here we go. So here is our geolocation directory built using the gravity view maps layout. And as you can see, we can zoom in and pan around just like we can do on a regular Google map. And here are all of our entries.